Hey guys, Chief here with Pokemon Leaf Green. I know, I dropped off the planet for way too freaking long, and I'll probably get into that at some point. Also, it's been a while since I've recorded anything, so... I'm gonna be super rusty, and why is this not skippable? Like, this not being skippable is fine. I don't know, just... Here's two intro things. And then just sitting through all this because you can't speed up the volume or the volume. You can't speed up the text yet? I don't know who I'm telling it. I will tell you what I'm doing I'm a girl! An awesome looking bag that doesn't really fit the color scheme. Is there anything going on that? Anyways, yeah, I dropped off the planet for a while. Nothing about restarting this, but I probably won't because I'm lazy. Most of that. Alright, name's cheap. Let's do it. Uh, this will be a nose lock because I am indecisive and hate picking teams. So, you know, I'm just gonna. Why is the random name option Ash on Green and then. I think it's Gary on the red. I'm pretty sure it is. It's weird that it would give you the option of him being Gary or Ash, and not just have it be Gary for both. Um, I didn't think of a nickname. Here we'll go, Beamtastic Gurry. If your name's Gurry, I'm not making fun of you. If your name's Gurry, I have a couple questions. Like, is that a regional thing or? I don't know. Anyways, we're now locking. The run starts after I get my goods. Because I gotta have the option of failing horribly at catching something before you to tell me that I don't get to do that. Uh, we're gonna make that fast. Alright. Ah, I have to remember the buttons. Yes. Give me my free potion. Ah. Starter. At one point I was thinking about doing a water only run, and then I realized that you'd basically have to start off with Squirtle by the magic harp. And then that's all you have for a really long time. Like, I think you can pick up a Psyduck? Around uh no, can you? Yeah, I think you can. So that would be your team for a while until you get a better fishing rod or something else going for you. I think after that, your next would probably be Vaporeon. Don't hold me to that. I haven't done a monotype run in a long time. Maybe I'll do one. The other thing that I pick up recording will probably be uh, Stardew Valley, because I adore that game. Every now and then I entertain the idea of recording Binding of Isaac, because I really love that game. But I'm also aware that I am terrible at that game. Charmander. I don't know, Charmander was my very first Pokemon back in the day. That was the starter I snagged because I thought it looked cool. I think lizards are neat. If there was a spider one, I would have gone with that. Ah. Uh, if I name it Blaze, it's gonna be a meme. But I can't think of anything else to name it. Ah. Uh, uh, no! <laughs> I wasn't expecting any nicknames today! Uh, I can name it Zippo, but I, that was weird in the series where the one was named after a lighter. Yeah, we'll go with Blaze. It's fine. I remember every time a Pokemon game came out, Back in the day when you didn't have a computer in your house and were just going off of magazines and whenever you got to the library to get a little bit of information about the new games coming up, I would like do little doodles of the new Pokemon coming out and then I'd think up my nicknames for them. 
and do like a bunch of research trying to come up with really good nicknames for him. Oh, for Pete's sake. Did it spawn anywhere? I'm trying to think really hard on the last time I heard somebody say for Pete's sake. And I'm getting nothing. If you watch this, leave a message. When was the last time you heard somebody say for, oh, for Pete's sake? Outside of a video game, video games don't count. Because I'll try to do old-timey things to make a character seem old. That's weird. I know you got all that to- Oh, whoa! I know the rule for Nuzlocke and starts after I get my Pokedex. But I'm not losing this fight. Also, you can probably hear my keyboard clicking, which is really at this point ASMR to me. But, uh, you got two critical hits in a row. The Squirtle's trouble. Knock it out! Okay! I wasn't expecting that to be nervous! I wasn't expecting that to be nervous. Nerve wracking is the sense I wanted. Yeah, you picked the wrong Pokemon that crits twice in a row. Yeah, tell me how I got your grandson's lunch money. Yeah, everybody points out that you never see Ash's dad. You never see Gary's dad, either. Uh, I did get a free heal right now, right? Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. No one almost died. I'm not gonna run to a level 4 Pidgey that destroys me, which is how a couple of my runs have ended before. Free potions. Look, see? We're fine. Everything's fine. We've got more than zero potions. We didn't almost get destroyed by that Squirtle. <laughs> oh, this is off to a good start. I swear most of my Nuzlocke start better. <laughs> I've had a few that end up in disaster like that, though. Like, you just get trapped in a fight against a Rattata or something, and that Rattata really has it out for you. And it's like, how did I get destroyed by a mouse? Also, we're still in a good place if I wasn't doing the start of things after the Pokemon so we didn't hit anything. Which means we're gonna hit something immediately on the way back. We'll be in that last bit of grass. And we'll be like, hi, how are you doing? Have you heard about our Lord and Savior home? Anyways, yeah, so I dropped off the planet for about what's it been now? Two years? Uh long story, less long than it was, but not necessarily short. Oh, we're the best. Um, I had to have surgery on my knee, so that took me out of it for a while, and then we were getting ready for a move. So I was busy with that, and then settling in here, and then the anxiety and other stuff just got really bad. So this is actually me practicing being social, even though I'm not talking to a person face to face. It's still me practicing talking, so that's better than nothing. so cool. And then you got the one that looked like a flip phone. And now the Pokedex is just a Pokemon. Alright. Place your bets down. Do you think it's gonna be a Pidgey or a Tata? Do you think Oak's gonna stop talking? Holy cow. Anyways, I tried to get a controller working for this, and it didn't want to. So, we're using keyboard and mouse. Well, keyboard and keyboard. You might see the mouse poke in on the screen if I need to adjust a setting. Probably not. Alright, I have to remember that I don't have any issues. Because my instinct is always to hold B down. Yeah, I Immediately crit it. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that didn't happen because it would have been heartbreaking and also just a weird way to find out that you have potential psychic powers. Or that you just know your personal luck. So how have you guys been? Have you playing the new Pokemon games? Doing anything exciting? Uh, I've been... 
playing the new games, I'm excited for when Animal Crossing comes out because Animal Crossing pleases me on just a fundamental level. Ah, uh, what do I name this bird? I don't want to name it Hawk because it's all the names that come to mind immediately are so lame. Um. I don't know what to name this bird. I should have gone nicknameless. It would have been so much easier. We wouldn't be sitting here looking at a screen. Uh. Uh. I don't know how to spell quiche, and that's the only other word coming to mind. Also, I deleted the Q. I'm failing fundamentally. How am I doing this badly? <laughs> Names. Okay. I think that's how you spell quiche. I don't know why that's what came to mind. <laughs> I mean, eggs go in quiche. That would have been a better name for an egg. Oh, that would be such a good name for an execute. Oh, I'm restarting this run. I'm terrible at everything. <laughs> I don't feel like Blaze is where I can do swap I don't know, I want to get Blaze to level 7 before I swap in and make him have to carry the fight. I always felt like Rattata never had like super good- every now and then Rattata has a decent art style going for it, but like in this one, I just feel like the Pokemon has no neck. Okay, look at it, he has no neck. <laughs> It's just, there's not even shoulders, it's just a head coming out of the body. And little pieces. They're so mad, though. Look at them. Or maybe you just look mad if your eyes automatically look like Vegeta's. Like our entire species looks like Mouse Vegeta. Of course I'm mad. Alright, let's go here before something tragic happens. I was watching... what was I watching? Oh, I was watching the Six Miracle Challenge, which is just... Enjoyable, blah, 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 blah. enjoyable, but also you just sit there and watch somebody dying inside for an hour or two at a time. It's like, this is fun, but also I'm so angry at what I've chosen to do to myself. I won't spoil how it goes, but it's awesome. Also, it's a couple years old, so if you look it up... It you could probably guess how it ends, which is in tears constantly. It's one of those runs where even if you win, you're just sitting there miserable, like, why? Why have I done this to myself? <laughs> anyway, seeing things like that always makes me want to go play Pokemon Crystal and, like, just get six Hobbits and see how far you can go with, like, the worst Pokemon. I've looked at the worst Pokemon of each generation a few times, which people argue about. One person had the pair to say that Pidgey is one of the worst Pokemon in Canton. Like, the whole Pidgey family, not just Pidgey itself. Any Pokemon that evolves into something else is probably not nearly as good as other things. But, like, yeah, they said that Pidgey was complete garbage. And, like, I understand that compared to all the other bird Pokemon that we have opportunities to get to and use now, that... Pidgey's probably not as awesome. Like, Pidgey's not a Moltres. And I never decided if... Like, hoot hoot to Pidgey. It's a tough call. Not tell to Pidgey on it? Because that's three stages in instead of just two? Like, I can never... I never thought it was a fair comparison, but I still often wondered whether or not... It like, which one I thought was better. Because Nautel has advantages that PG just, their family does not have. I feel like we can get a tackle or two off. We're gonna get one tackle off because that was way more help than I thought it was. Okay. Keesh has contributed. Why did I name Keesh? Like, it's even more absurd because I have not had a quiche in... 
I don't know if I've ever... I know I had to have had a quiche, because I've been to a wedding where they're just like, oh, this is the food you serve at a wedding. I don't know <laughs> if I've had a quiche outside of a wedding. Or just something trying to act fancy. Have I? I had to have. There's no way that's just a food that I hear about a lot and then never eat. Like, the... I, I think I just blew my own mind because I don't know if I've read... I know I've had one. Dad brought home, like, a frozen thing of quiches one time because it was on sale. Okay. So I have in, like, the past handful of years, but we're coming up on outside of that time. And now I'm not even sure if I had one of them or if Dad just brought them home and I was aware that they were in our house and Dad ate them. Alright, Rattata is not nearly as salty as I did for this. Don't cry. Okay. I'm just gonna sit here and live in fear. Crits. Anyways, okay, so what else have I found? I am gradually trying to finish unpacking, which is really hard to do when... I move my things around and now I have no idea where anything is. Anyways, I still found embers, it's fine. Yeah, purple. Let's go. Anyways, I'm trying to gradually finish unpacking, but the problem is... Like, I have books left to unpack. And there's also the boxes of Dad's books that are enwrangled with it, so even if I undo the three... I don't know if you call it undoing a box. Anyways. Even if I unpack, like, the... Th Three or four boxes of books that I have left, or the maybe four of not books that I have. There's still gonna be all these boxes of books because we don't have room to dad's books. That's also considering that we have two bookshelves in this room, and dad and I just collect them. I had a closet in my computer room that we're not using for anything. I think I might just sneak boxes into there. I just quietly put Dad's boxes of books in there. I almost chose to attack there, and that would have been the end of Kish. Sweet beloved young Kish, your time would have come too soon. Oh, burn. I'm not going to really help too. You got that damage down, but we're about to go down anyways. Now, if that Pidgey had crit and we lived by 1 HP, all the credit for us living would have gone to that burn. <laughs> and it's trying to find a topic to be on, which of course, I'll never do. Um, how long has this been recording? 18 minutes? Okay. I went to the right I'm way too soon there because I was trying to look at the other screen. Don't mind me. I'm not drunk or anything, I'm just sober and real spacing. Anyways, um... I forgot what I was talking about before checking the time. No! Should we try to get our third and fourth Pokemon, or should we... No, let's get Keisha. Get Keisha to at least level 5. Because I've been playing... Uh, I don't want to call it a reboot, but that's... It was a reboot, it's just like a... Would it be a remake? Because they added it to it. But it's still fundamentally the same game. Anyways, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and Bowser's Minion uh, is what I've been playing. Because I was watching speedruns because that's my favorite pastime for filling in hours of the day. That way it's not just me sitting here with my thoughts trying to figure out if I could finish a sentence mentally. Or wondering if I'm hearing noises outside or if there's a ghost in the house. Anyways, I've been playing <laughs> that game. I had seen a speedrun of it which finished the game like I want to say 20 minutes, it was probably more like 40. It wasn't that long. Clearly far shorter time-wise than I spent playing it. Because I just try to do everything. Although I wanted the part where I need to 
start doing those mini games to finish getting the coffee, and I'm terrible at every single mini game in that game. Although the border jump one, you can kind of get the hang of it eventually. Like I'm three or four rounds in on it, and I'm just like, ah, maybe I can find another one to do. But I'm also like three or four rounds on everything. Which means I'm just sitting there like, I want to get these beans to make coffee, but I also don't want to spend 40 minutes trying to finish one stage of a game. Anyways, but yeah, I saw a speedrun of it, and remember that that's one of my favorite games of all time. It's an RPG, it's got Mario and Luigi, it's got really good humor, I have no idea what level my Pokemon are. Anyways, but yeah, I just... Been You're still level 3? Bra. Keisha slacking. That's where just finished the two. Oh, Where's Chuma go up though? Someone did level up, right? I didn't lose my mind. Yeah, tell me your secrets. How do I get them? That's right, you keep doing three damage. I know I get knocked out. And then I don't feel incredibly sad for just now insulting Keish. Alright, there we go. Sweet. I don't get personalities or anything. I never do that in a normal run. Like, I'm not super competitive, so it's not like, okay, I have to have the best stats, and I have to do the IV and EV training, and all this stuff, I have to mid-max everything, so I just won't play. Something's gonna happen to Keish. Oh! Okay, you're almost level 5. You can't die. You gotta make it to Sand Attack. We're gonna swap out for a little We're at health. I have trust issues. Just a good time to swap out. Definitely abuse sand attack during the course of this game. Normally I'm like face first, just do a bunch of damage, but in not as lock. I like to do a little bit of safety strats. If I can paralyze it or sand attack. Or if I can get good items to equip to my Pokemon so they're not quite as terrible. Just shell bells and leftovers for everybody. Uh, I want to run. <laughs> I'm so slow. I only feel slow because I know that I could run. But I can't run. So that it's like I could be faster, but I'm not. Alright, we're gonna go catch another Pokemon. And talk to an old dude and probably talk to another Pokemon. Um, I'll be doing like a level grinding and stuff like that on the screen. I can probably find something to chatter about. Also, I don't know how long I'm gonna make these episodes. Like, I was thinking a half hour, but maybe I'll just go an hour or however long I feel. Also, I just realized that the first one I'm gonna bring into is Rotata, and there's so many better options over here. Hi. I don't know. Like, we already got a normal type of stuff like that. She'll be niblet. So you know where there's just this big gap between these two rows. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm 
was looking for the middle man. I had names picked out. Just to call myself out, the nicknames were King and Queen, so I'm not super original. Okay, we're gonna be here for a while. Yep. I know how to pack catch Pokemon, my dude. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, the bag. Mm-hmm. You got a potion for some reason. You got one lone Pokeball. It take 50 minutes to do this. He's a left-hander. Uh-huh. Okay. Should I go down? <laughs> Please. Uh, I wish this was optional. Or at least it was like a little faster. because I thought about it the other day. I don't know why I thought about it the other day, I just did. Alright. This is the same route as off to the left, right? No, it's not. Look, if I even have the chance of Pokemon that isn't a Rattata, I'm going for it. Route 22, and the other one's Route 2, right? I think. Please. Don't leave me with this Rattata. They're okay Pokemon, but they don't last forever. Okay, we have another chance. At literally anything. to say what all the rules are. I'll put them up in this thing. Okay. Everything's Rutata, so I'm just gonna scrap this route. Also, I'm gonna switch to Blaze. Yeah, no, I won't do dupes those ones. I'll be hardcore. I have 17 pages. I usually do deep claws because you get a bit more variety. But at the same time, sometimes I just end up and around and it's like, oh, I have everything because that's how the game is at this point. Also, there's been two times in the room. That's the only thing that's around. Quiche! My dude. Maybe I'll switch to Niblet. <laughs> See if one of you guys can hit. Alright. So we've gotta get ready for the rock. Which means I'm going to level the crap out of Blaze, probably. Unless I get an amazing Pokemon in the forest. But I Highly paranoid person. Oh, rival fight. What's your starter at? Level 7? Does anybody know? Do I know? Blaze, do you know? Quiche? Niblet the Rattata? Anybody? Guy in the yellow hat? So, does that sprite imply that he has like just a little bit of hair going out of the front? Yeah, it's like he has a little tiny tuft of hair. Okay, you know what? I don't have six Pokemon. There's no need to put anybody in the box. Alright, so let's go get us probably a butt Pokemon. Or in the craziest chances possible of Pikachu, but I've never had that kind of luck. I usually end up with a Metapod, and I'm just like, cool. This is neat. Hi, people. Bye, people. Was it here? 
No, there's an item somewhere. Where is it? I need that. I didn't practically go out of my way to go around that item. Okay, I'll take care of you. It's a good level care of you too. It's like a level two that you have to just sort of suffer through until it becomes greatness. I was hoping for the Nudo Rand family or a main key and then get, you know, some form of double kick or low kick or just whatever fighting attack that comes along. Are you? Excuse me? Get in the ball. You have one job and that is to join the squad and be named Butters. Because that is what I always name <laughs> Butterfreeze. I don't know why. If I ever learn how to spell margarine, that'll be your name next time. I say as if every Caterpie is the same Caterpie. Alright. So let's look at our options. Put you in the back because you're the highest level. I'm gonna get Keisha level 8. I'm gonna hit the wrong button about seven times. I'm gonna get Keish to at least where they have Gus, because then we have a flying attack. It's gonna be great for leveling here. We'll destroy the Metapods. It'll be a great time. After that, I can swap out the other two on things like Metapods and other both Pokemon. And just sort of grind their levels up. I think getting that Caterpie to level 10 is gonna be our power play. Unless we wanna play Whiskey with our starter and do Metal Claw against Brock. I don't remember what level charm it is. It's not a problem. It's before they evolve. Also, how many times have I missed in this fight? We're gonna make a drinking game. Every time tackle and miss it, there's just a shit. Please. I don't want this to be the episode of. Are you. That's at least three. Alright, we're gonna do it. Do you not like your name? Is that it, buddy? What's going on? I just want to level you up and have you achieve greatness. Please get anything to tackle. Okay, we're not at tackle yet. Cool. Okay, so Metal Claw is a good option. I definitely want the options in general. Don't poison me. Don't poison me. Don't do this. Okay. I get no poison safer in this version because I think your Pokemon gets cleared of it if you're just walking around. Like you get to 1 HP and it's like, oh, I'm all better now. Like, I don't. I don't want to have to run back and forth that many times. The beginning of a Nuzlocke run is already brutal. Because you got these weak, low-level babies, and they gotta survive. Where are the odds on poison stay? Is it the same if it's them and not you? Because I know in some of the old Pokemon games, they had like an increased chance of missing and stuff like that. Are you... Yeah, we'll just be shorter level 8. It's fine. No, everything's fine. What are you talking about? I'm just gonna fight 50 more Weedles. I'm gonna switch my starter and they're gonna get poisoned and die horribly. Because I'm somehow wrong about how poison works in this game. Real tough that it doesn't poison. Crystal and 
gold and silver, they were okay. I'm gonna say the rich Tridge, they weren't super impressive. I can't believe you didn't get it. I guess level 9 is best? Alright, well it doesn't matter because we are going to work on getting us a metapod. We'll pop over here because I thought there was an item of grass and I think I'm thinking of another game. There's too many games where we end up in this forest. Okay, everybody go get a drink because we're gonna be here a while. Because I want this caterpillar to get all the XP. It's level 5, it's evolved, it's not gonna fight back. We're gonna be here an hour. But I'll almost definitely get a level. I'd be really surprised if I didn't. Put one in the fridge last night. I tried to stick to one soda a day because they were like, oh, well, caffeine makes anxiety and stuff like that worse. It's like, yeah, but I need a little bit of caffeine to wake up and be a human being, so I gotta. There's like this fine line in between that you gotta maintain. Also, our caffeine has a lot more HP than I thought it would have. I don't know why that's a weird number to me. I would expect Pokemon to have like 12 HP. Level 100 Pokemon. This guy like 13. You reach the top. Alright! I don't think Caterpie must even miss. That didn't level! Caterpie, my man! Also, I'm. I think I'm thinking of the girl in Pokemon Yellow that's over here looking for a Pikachu. Yeah, you're not fighting that. What's your favorite bug Pokemon from your games? And I always had a soft spot for Cat because you got it early and it got confusion, and confusion's great, which is really all you need to tell me. Like, I never got to use Venonat or anything like that, and I wish I could have. I think I made myself use Venonat in a later game, but. Or not a later game, but in a later run, because I played the everything daylight out of these games. I still don't know why I need that pitch quiche. It's just gonna amuse me for the rest of the day. <laughs> What'd you do today? Oh, I need a pitch of quiche. Oh, cool. Uh, how's that working out for you? Weird. <laughs> oh, please go. Yay! I'll keep the retaliate because it's, it's got useful attacks and I'd rather have four Pokemon in the party than three and then get completely wiped out when somebody could save us. That our worst case scenario, I have somebody to throw out to abide and it's like, I'm sorry that your death has come now, but uh, I need everyone else I like more to live. I don't know why I hate and retaliate so much. Like, they're really strong at the beginning, they just fade out. I like firecrackers. Not fireworks, though, because fireworks like shoot up in the air and they're awesome. And then they fade out. This is more like, oh, I lit a little thing in the yard and it's cool and the grass didn't catch on fire, thankfully, or else we have a whole other series of issues. But that was neat for five seconds. Okay, it's done. Time to light another one. Seen snow one time, and I kept telling people I was super excited for winter. Twitch, every person I met was like, "Oh, you're gonna say that now, and then you're gonna see a winter and be like, oh, I wanna go home." Blah blah. I can't do the voice of people right here. It was that was 90% of the reaction versus, "Oh, why would you move up here?" <laughs> um. 
really been enjoying the winter, and I miss snow, and there's something really satisfying about that sound that snow makes when you step in it. Yeah, I see you. Yo, jerk the kid been here earlier and I lost my mind. But then I probably wouldn't get a worse space for Pokemon. Because I don't know how much a Pikachu would actually help. Well, what a help for Misty. But usually by the time I get over Misty, I got something for me. We'll just wait and see what we have when we're around that area. Probably just over the water one. We have chances for like Oddishes and Bell Sprouts. Oh, which one's in green? Bell Sprouts green and Oddish is red, right? I decided to play Leaf Green because everybody always does fire red or a variation of it, because that's what all the ROMs are for for some reason. So I was like, let me give Leaf Green a little love, but then I can't remember who's exclusive to what. Like for Viridian Forest, I know it's Caterpies 90% of the time, and then Weedles are on the lower off chance. I wanna say... Red is the one that has Oddish. So we've had a chance for Bellsprout. Which I think I kind of like the Bellsprout family more than the Oddish family. Don't tell anyone, there might be a riot. Like, in terms of strength and being offensive and stuff like that, because the Absorb and Mega Drain family is neat, but I always feel like I could have something better. Whereas Vine Whip and Razor Leaf and all those other goodies, that's a great time. Alright, back to trying to level up this character. We're gonna do it. This kid's just staring at a tree. Probably taking a leak. I'm calling the cops. I wanna go through old pictures of Weedle through all the games and see if they have the same amount of segments in each one. And we're gonna set a cage and see if we'll mine is where we get us. Are you kidding me? Uh, half of me wants to Google to make sure I'm right about the poison wearing off if you get down to 1 HP while out of battle. Like, in battle, it'll... I don't remember. Hold on, we're googling. Uh. Uh. Does this count as Gen two? Why would it matter? Um. I don't know. <laughs> Googling has helped me none. Um, I'm probably gonna feel dumb over this, but I'll use a potion. Off. 
Okay, we're gonna be fine. Oh, now I'm gonna, uh... Poison, blah, blah, blah. Try to read this when we're in our next battle. Can we cure the Ando? Oh, really while we walk. Yeah, can we cure all that stuff? What if you're out of battle? Refresh and rest. Psycho Shift will move poison onto your target, which is pretty cool. I didn't know because I'd never use that ability. Apparently in Gen 1, using Haze cures the opponent from poison. Nothing is telling me which generation... Okay, I have no idea. I want to say it was Fire Red Leaf Green that they introduced that. I'm almost 100% certain, but I... Gosh dang it. Since Gen 4, Poison no longer fits Pokemon outside of battle. Which Gen is this, though? <laughs> Alright, Gen 1's the Ridge Tridge. Gen... T oh, gee, I have to keep trying this Poison. There's three, four, I think there was a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is not the button I wanted to hit. Now somebody from Table Floor is calling me and I don't know them. Um, Hold on, we're doing math. Generation 1, red, blue, yellow. <laughs> Generation 2, gold, silver, crystal. Generation 3... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that was... Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, right? There's someone se secretly in between there, right? So that would make this Gen 3, right? Because this remake was around then. I think. Alright, Fire Red's Gen 3, which means the poison should kill me outside of battle. If that's wrong, I'm not going to test it, because I don't want to lose a Pokemon due to being dumb. Uh... No, let's do it against Toad. Anyways, I go on with what the internet said. This is Gen 3, which I was correct about. It says Gen 4 is when the poison wearing off became a thing. 
so we will not be risking it on the last HP. Because if it was this generation when I hit 1 HP, it would have said that they cured themselves after hitting 1 HP. Great. Also, I'm tempted to just start running away from Weedles. We don't have the HP to fight them and make it back, which is very depressing sense. I don't want to buy more potions. Alright, we'll buy two potions. Because we don't need a ton of Pokeballs. So... I need heal, right? Back to leveling butters. <laughs> oh, that was a great derailment, but now you know! In case you were also wondering, we have confirmed that I was initially very, very wrong and almost lost Pokemon twice because of it. I don't know which generation of Pokemon has the best music, but this one definitely has the song that gets stuck in my head the most, which is just that... Alright, butters. Kill your kin. Take him down. Paradise City. The grass is green. The girls are pretty. This might take a while. Oh, okay. These are so weak. I think they're actually weak as metabots. But the butter is gonna be worth it, I hope. Unless I get it killed immediately by being too cocky because I have confusion. I don't think I've ever done a solo bug run. I did a solo bug run in a... Ah, oh, was it... Pokemon Black and White? It was one of those, I don't know which version. No, it was, um... I think Black 2. Was the one that was running. I got pretty far and I got sidetracked with other things. I can't remember why. I get sidetracked very easy unless I'm doing something like this that keeps me on the game. Like, I finally sat down and I was like, I'm gonna play all the way through Final Fantasy VII. Because I've never actually finished it. Don't destroy me, please. Comments. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna, you know, finally do this. I'm gonna sit through and play this game and 100% it and I'm going to get all the goodies and I'm still not entirely sure if I'm going to do the chocobo breeding, but I might until I get incredibly frustrated and decide life's not worth it anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, I got pretty far through it and then just other things came up and um, just got past like the where you do the uh Tower defense game in there, which has blown my mind. I have a friend that I keep linking the stuff that I've been doing to, because just every now and then it's like, I'm fighting a house now. And they're like, excuse me? And then I take another picture, because the house has a second phase, and I was like, the house grew arms! They were like, I don't remember this... Is that a boss? I was like, no, it's just a random dude that I keep running into to fight. Alright, we've got a boomerang! Look, they look like one. I think if you were in a battle and you chucked your butters, your butters, uh, your metapod at it, something, you'd be doing okay. All right, now we're gonna get Nibbles some XP. Get Nibble to five, and then we'll probably call it for this episode. How many? Do you five? It's like the back sprite's so cute, and you definitely have a neck. The front sprite, I don't know what's going on, butters. What? Which one are you? I have so many Pokemon, I'm not used to this. I usually just catch things that are off and I was like, well, I guess I'm just gonna win Pokemon for a while. Another case of the uh, very angry Vegeta eyes. Real just like half Dragon Ball Z. Anyways, back to Final Fantasy VII. They 
and I also, of course, didn't know that there was a part where you just ride a motorcycle around for a while. And, like, you have to fight things while on a motorcycle, and I was like, there's a racing part of this? It's not racing, it's just flailing my sword at people that are trying to beat up people in a truck? What's going on in this game? And there's a tower defense thing, and there's just a whole bunch of wackety stuff in there that I didn't know was in Final Fantasy VII. Forever given up on Rattata, they will never recover in my eyes. It's about to take like 50 minutes because the character's made a string shot and I'm not doing much damage. But you know, we got spirit. We got fairly like, well done, although. Like, they didn't put a ton of. I don't want to say. Ton of effort is not the sentence I want. They didn't... They did a lot with a little for doing the grass, is what I'm trying to say before this battle goes away. But like, instead of going really over the top and be like, oh, I have to draw like each bit of grass, it's just like, no, we're gonna do a few lines and that's the grass. And I got into another battle while saying that, so I guess this will be our last battle. Come on, Midlet. You got this. I don't know why I named you after a type of porn, but here we are. I was gonna be annoyed that the Caterpie was faster than me, and then I realized it's using the ability that makes me slower, so of course it's faster than me. Come on. Almost there. I will see you guys in the next episode. It will probably be more grinding. Because... Let's see, what's my master plan here? Definitely everyone to level 10, because then we have a butter free. We're probably gonna have to get Blade to level up past that. Um, I'll probably do that entirely on wild Pokemon, and then have Blaze just destroy all of the trainers. And have him sort of hog the X XP and... Kind of really bank on him for fighting Brock. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. Alright, I will see you guys next time. Bye!